Yo, what do YouTube? This is your boy, Sherry Spree. Today, I want to talk to you guys about Supergirl Season 2, Episode 9. Supergirl Lives. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys real quick about it. Because it just aired, you know, the mid-season continuation. Well, the mid-season is pretty damn good, you know. Car, you know, starts off with uh, Car chasing a bunch of jewel, a couple, a few uh, jewel thieves. And she takes, you know, she takes them down and everything. Well, a couple of them escape, the driver, that is. And um, the Guardian ends up taking out the rest in the handcuff again. You know, you see her going to uh, go go to her brother. I mean, go to her sister Alex. You know, telling her that. You know, I don't understand why the whole thing right here. You know, I did all the work. The Guardian comes in and sweeps him up, and he gets all the praise. You know, and lately Carl's been feeling like she needs a new challenge. You know, she's all she's been doing, as you heard her say, she's been just been taking getting jewels back with people. You know, she's not really saving the people. You know, so she wants a new challenge, basically. Well, that challenge came to her in the form of that one Chinese lady. And this one mad scientist that seems to take other people to another Earth. And my guess is going to be probably be the Earth 38. Um, her and Manel went there to go find a missing person. You know, there's been like a small spike in uh, missing persons uh, lately within that city. And um, you hear Alex's girlfriend. Tell her that, well, this here's the thing. Kidnaps have motives. Serial killers have patterns. Which I'm going to keep in note because I'm a law student. Um, another thing is also, you know, you see, we were left on a cliffhanger with questions to Monel's, Monel and, and Kara's relationship. How is that going to go? I think it's going to be possible since she's not dating one in season three. Um, that's to quote Andy Kreisberg, you know, the executive producer of the Supergirl. Um, another thing I want to speak on as well is I don't really think the Dominators are done. Um, it's, it seems a little bit too easy to finish off an alien invasion like that in an alien race that far. I mean, even that, I mean I'm sorry, that fast. So I think they're going to be returning later on in the season. I just want to say that real quick. And also, you see, you know, when she was going into her little day job as Cara, Mon uh, as Cara Danvers, her and John were going and button heads because Cara, of course, feels like the Guardian isn't much of a hero and the city shouldn't be trusting him so easily. Um, also, um, early in the episode as well, you saw John save Quinn from uh, stopping one of the assailants, one of the jewel thieves. Um, you know, he, the guy was heading Quinn's way and Quinn stopped him at the door. You know, he, he celebrated a little bit too quick. The guy punched him, knocked his shit out off the frame. He fell on the ground with a bloody nose. You know, pointing the gun, you know, Quinn, you know, Quinn's like, no, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me. You know, John saves him, takes off his gun, and asks him if he's all right. He said, yeah. And so, with that being said, I think Quinn needs to be a little bit more safe in those regards. You know, and probably possibly that. And, you know, I think eventually Carl's going to catch on that John is the guardian. You know, when is that going to happen? I'm really waiting for that because I'm like, yo, dog, it's like so fucking obvious. Just put the pieces together. <laughs> You're at the fucking guardian. And, um... Excuse me. With all that being said, you know, again, I cannot wait for the Dominators to make another damn hit because, again, I feel like that was just a little bit too easy for them to finish off like that. But then again, you did have the Flash, DCs, and uh, Supergirl, so, I mean, hey, they put up a good fight, but I am looking forward to that as well. Also, guys, be on, be on the lookout for my DCs Legends of Tomorrow uh, review as well as tomorrow night at 9, right after the Flash. YouTube. This is what I forgot. I, had a, I forgot to add a little piece of information uh, in regard to the portal that transferred all the missing people to that other Earth. Um, those people were also being auctioned off as slaves. So you know that was really uh, kind of weird as to why that Chinese lady was using them as slaves. You know that Chinese lady. I forgot the name. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> she now once before the mid before the mid season before the season uh, stopped. She was told on this little fighting ring or something like that, you know, having them, having, you know, those metahumans fight each other and Supergirl stopped her. So possibly, she was possibly trying to start that again and make some, make a little money on the side as well, so auction them off like that. It is a little bittersweet being that I am black and, and other minorities may feel a little type of way about that as well. But that's what I wanted to say real quick, not to bother you guys like that. But like I said before, make sure you guys thumbs this video up, subscribe to the channel. You know, comment what you guys think about this video and all that other jazz. Man, I love you guys. Bless up. Uh, again, be on the lookout for my DCs, my Legends uh, review, and the Flash review tomorrow. I love you guys.